What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NFL video with your boy. Drop a like down below, comment anything in the comment section, enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. Speaking of winners of $50 giveaways, congratulations to Sting Rize Barnes. Sting Rizze Barnes, congratulations for the $50. You are the $50 winner for last week. Make sure you hit me up on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL so I can get your information and send that over. Thank you to everybody who entered and commented and all that good stuff. I hope you guys had an amazing week four. We sure did at Greenlight DFS once again. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad for week five. Uh, we have smashed everything. Showdowns and mains for week three. And week four. We completed the entire sweep last night with another Monday night showdown win. So um, we've been absolutely dominating. It has been incredible and awesome and sick. So the only two times we've lost in NFL this year are week one main and week two main. Outside of that, we smashed showdowns all season so far. And we've won the last couple of mains. So uh, it's going great so far this year. Excited to get right into this week five. Man, NFL season is flying already. Like... I got it. I started working on my first look lineup, and I'm like, what the hell? Week five already? It feels like it's like should be week two. It's going by super, super quick, so y'all enjoy it while we while we got it. But uh, <clears throat> by the way, at greenlightdfs.com, we will be providing for MLB during postseason, so showdowns and two-day slates type of thing. Um, so make sure you hit up Greenlight DFS. Uh, we have the MOB package available over there right now as well. Uh, GreenlightBets.com. Uh, we will be doing a, another college football large par parlay like we did last week. We ended up missing it by like three, four games, something like that out of like the 12 that we did. But we're going to try that again. It was like a enter $50, win 20000 type of parlay. We're going to keep trying those. Uh, try to hit big over there. So that'll be fun as well. So GreenlightBets.com is how you join over there. Let's go ahead and get straight into this first look lineup i'm not going to take up too much of your time my girl told me i need to hurry up because she's making breakfast so i'm a lucky guy so i got to get in and get out before i get in trouble and she takes all my fucking eggs and shit away so let's go ahead and get straight into this so starting off at quarterback now let me first start off by saying this first look lineup feels pretty gpp but it's got some major upside here all right so normally i don't play miami dolphin players but in this first look lineup, I am because the Miami Dolphins are going against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who are just beat down secondary wise. Anybody. My grandma could go out there and throw for 350 yards and four touchdowns against them right now. Tampa Bay is incredibly banged up. They're down to like their third corners. Like they're struggling secondary wise. Luckily for them, their offense is so amazing that they're still going to win games. But that off that defense is bad. Now in no way. Shape or form, am I saying Jacoby Brissett is, like, amazing? But at 5'2", we don't need much out of Jacoby Brissett here, okay? We do not need much. He has looked pretty solid over the last couple weeks. Against the Las Vegas Raiders, who are a solid defense, by the way, as you could see last night, they gave up 20 to Jacoby Brissett. Jacoby Brissett threw for 215 yards, ran for 37, which was cool to see. Um, and he got a rushing touchdown. No passing touchdowns. And then the next week against the Colts, who also should be a decent uh, a, a decent defense, he ended up going for 15. Really, I mean, if he gives me 15, I'm ecstatic here. And I feel like 15 is a floor against, uh, against Tampa Bay. The good part here is that they're going to be down big. And this is the part that I love about this. Miami is going to be down big. They are 10-point underdogs in Vegas, okay? They are going to be down big. The entire game, all they're going to be doing is throwing. And they're going to be throwing against a horrible Tampa Bay secondary. Jacoby Brissett, I could see getting slightly over 20 DraftKings points here. And honestly, I'll take it at 5-2. So I really like Jacoby Brissett here. At running back, I'm going to go Leonard Fournette. Okay, Leonard Fournette, finally they fed this dude 20 times. He got 20 carries against New England for 91 yards. He also gets the targets in this past game because they're damn sure not going to throw the ball to Ronald Jones. Five targets, three catches, and 47 reception yards. It was great to see him finally hit 20 carries. Expect Leonard Fournette to get around there once again in a high-favored game right here for Tampa Bay. By the way, they're one of the highest projected team totals of the uh, week as well. 
So Leonard Fournette, expect him to be worked heavily here at 5'2". He is the running back here for Tampa Bay. He has looked great. Um, he looked great last week against a decent New England running game, uh, running defense. So Leonard Fournette is solid here. Um, expect another 17 to 20 carries and a f big favored game here, and he should be able to eat. Jonathan Taylor just got over 23. Peyton Barber. Got over 26 against this Miami defense. So expect Leonard Fournette to absolutely eat here. Okay. Um, running back. Next running back. Keep an eye on this guy. But if he plays and he's not limited throughout practice at all and he's back to 100% and he's going to get 20 plus carries again, Dalvin Cook at home in Minnesota against Detroit is the most sexy thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay. He got 42 against this Detroit defense last season. And they're bad again. He had 22 carries for 206 rushing yards and two touchdowns last season against Detroit at home in a dome. They are over seven-point favorites. They are 28.2 implied team total, which is right behind Tampa Bay. Dalvin Cook is amazing, and you guys know how I like to do it. Look, plain and simple, we got to all be understanding, right? We're all on the same page here where we believe Tampa Bay is going to smack Miami at home. What does that mean? Miami is going to be behind throwing a shit ton. Also, what does that mean? A ton of Leonard Fournette once they get up. He should feast. Dalvin Cook, big favorite game against a bad Detroit defense. This this first look lineup is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. All right. There is a discrepancy price-wise here. Antonio Brown is too cheap at 5'2". I get it. They're going to be up big, but I think Antonio is going to be part of the reason why. Um, they gave up over almost 19 to Hunter Renfro um, in week three. Uh, this is a solid spot for him here. Obviously, we got to keep an eye on this. I'm I'm hoping that Miami's like top cornerback, which I'm blanking on his name for some reason right now. Uh, we we all know pretty much what what I'm talking about. What's his name? Damn. Oh, Xavier Howard. Xavier. Yeah, Howard. Right. Okay. Howard is an amazing cornerback. So I'll I'll do more looking into this, making sure he's not going to be on Antonio Brown majority of the time. If he is, then I'll probably rather take like a Mike Evans or something like that. Take advantage of that. Um, I'm not really wanting to pick on Howard too much because he is amazing. Uh, so. But Antonio Brown at 5'2", If he is going to avoid Howard shadow coverage, maybe Howard shadows Evans. Who knows? But uh. With the way they move Brown around, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But, yeah, at 5'2", I am sticking to Antonio Brown right now because that price seems way too cheap. Pairing up Brissette. I love this rookie, man. Jalen Waddle. I love this rookie. When we were doing our box breaks and stuff. By the way, box break tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So join me on this channel. Later on tonight, I'll be live doing some box breaks tonight. Jalen Waddle is a guy that I was like, oh, yeah, this is the guy I like some cards from. Because I feel like he could end up being pretty solid this year. Heard a lot of talk out of camp that this dude was burning cornerbacks, getting separation, and, and getting good targets during practices and stuff. Same thing is gone. I mean, he only got four targets last week against the Colts, which was bad to see. But I expect him back up around the 10 mark here in this amazing matchup against Tampa Bay. Jacoby Myers almost got 17. Cooper Cup owned them for almost 31. And this is a worse Tampa Bay secondary than we saw against Cooper Cup week three. Okay. So Jalen Waddle at only 4'8". He has been getting the targets on Miami. I love Jalen Waddle paired up with Jacoby Brissett here. I think Waddle's going to smash here. DJ Chark is out. What does that mean? It is Ch Chenault season, baby. Chenault is a solid option here, man. With no Chark, Chenault looked like the guy for Jacksonville here. He looked like the guy. Trevor Lawrence started really going to him often once Chark got hurt. All right, Chenault ended up smashing. On top of that, they like to utilize this dude in a whole bunch of different ways to get the ball in his hands. And I like the fact that LaVishka Chenault's under 5K. DJ Chark being out. It was uh, If you watched the game, if you didn't watch the game, then you might not understand 100%. But if you watch the game, you'll see when Chark left, LaVishka Chenault was the guy Trevor Lawrence leaned on here. So I really like LaVishka Chenault a lot it, as underdogs against Tennessee here. This is the Tennessee squad that gave up over 19 to Jamison Crowder, who just got back. Like, he didn't even play a full snap count. And Jamison Crowder got over 19 against his Tennessee secondary. Tyler Lockett burned them for almost 35. So LaVishka Chenault's in a great spot with no DJ Chark. I love that. Um, I'm going to add another one because most million-dollar winners in takedown lineups have three from one side and then run back two from the other side. So I'm going to add Jasicki here because whoever plays this first-look lineup, 
um, is going to get a million dollars. So Jasicki paired up with Brissett and Waddle is the way that I like to go here for GPPs. Like I said, man, this Miami squad is going to get smacked around. They're going to be down big. There's a lot of garbage time points here for Waddle, Jasicki, and Brissett. They should absolutely eat here. I really, really like this spot here for them. And uh, this is, yeah, this is something I'm, I'm down with taking advantage of, man, to be honest with you. So I really like this spot for these guys. And Jasicki finally did something. Fine. Uh, well, the last couple weeks, let me take that back. He did good against Las Vegas. He got 12 targets, 10 catches for 86 yards. Against the Colts, he got in the end zone finally. Six targets, five receptions, 57 reception yards. When you have a backup like Brissett and quarterback, he's going to rely heavily on short route guys like Jalen Waddle, Mike Jasicki, guys who can just keep it close, dink and dunk little passes, make him feel comfortable, get the ball out of his hands quickly. And Waddle and Jasicki are those two guys. Expect both of these guys to really feast against this bad Tampa Bay secondary. Run that back with the fact that Antonio Brown is burning them and Leonard Fournette is just gashing them every which way. I love this lineup, man. I'm not going to lie. For GPB, I really love this lineup. I might actually, normally I won't enter a first look lineup, but I might damn well play this first look lineup for real and not even change anything about it and just hope for the best as long as everybody's active. Um, I'm not saying it's going to be my favorite, of course. I mean, I've got to, I, I do a whole bunch of research when it comes to my favorite line, and this is taking a ton of risk here. But for GPP, there's some de definite obvious upside here. All right, because I have the money, why not? Derrick Henry going against Jacksonville. Uh, Derrick Henry in this spot is a great spot. They are favored. Tennessee is favored. They're 20, over 26-point favorites. And look, man. Derrick Henry's a guy that I just landed on where I feel really comfortable about him getting me about 25 DraftKings points. And he has some also huge upsides, some of the most upside of any running back on the slate. Look at this. Dalvin Cook, Derrick Henry, and Leonard Fournette against Miami in a highly favored game. I mean, this lineup is beautiful. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but Derrick Henry favored going against Jacksonville. It is a solid spot here for him. Um, I'm expecting another big game out of Derrick Henry. And, like, I mean, I just fell on this price tag because defense, once again, I feel like we can punt this pretty well. Raiders' defense is solid. They put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. They are at home in Las Vegas going against the rookie most likely. If the rookie doesn't start, then Andy Dalton, I don't care. Whoever starts for Chicago, I do not care. I like this Raiders' defense a lot here. Uh, let's see what other options we have if we wanted to, if we wanted to switch it up. So... We have the Saints defense against Washington. We got Bears against Las Vegas. I prefer Las Vegas at home. Minnesota against Detroit is very interesting. Hmm. Paired up with Dalvin Cook. Ooh, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do the Minnesota Vikings at home paired up with Dalvin Cook run back. Uh, I like to pair my running backs up with the defense as well. All right. So that's about it, y'all. Jacoby Brissett going against that banged up Tampa Tampa Bay secondary being big underdogs. Leonard Fournette, uh, highly favored, finally got over 20 carries. They're planning on feeding this dude, and this is a great spot to do it here against Miami and big favored. Dalvin Cook, pay attention to him, okay? Uh, he's banged up. He only got like nine carries last week. If he goes through a full practice and is going to be regular workload and get 20-plus carries as he always does, he's going to dominate Detroit. Antonio Brown, I have to pay attention to this situation as well because I don't want much Antonio if he's going to be shadowed by Xavier and Howard. Uh, so I'm going to pay attention to that. If Mike Evans is going to be shadowed, I'm locking Antonio Brown in. If Antonio Brown shadowed, I might highly consider Mike Evans there. So it depends. I have to do more research on that and I'll look into it, but we'll see. Uh, Jalen Waddle paired up with Brissett as well as Jasicki to run back and play some garbage time against Tampa Bay. Those guys should eat here. LaVishka Chenault, don't know DJ Chark. He was the obvious favorite target of Trevor Lawrence once Chark went down. Really like that. As well as James Robinson can be played here as well because James Robinson is a guy, is a guy that they feel okay with throwing the ball too as well sometimes and uh he looked amazing this last game as well and then Derrick Henry just because I had the money and he's the safest running back you can possibly play ever with the dudes getting over 30 carries uh, I mean you're pretty safe with Derrick Henry and then the Vikings D I had Las Vegas but either way I'm fine with it the fact that I have Dalvin Cook I might as well play the Vikings D and run that back at home in Minnesota so I really like that all right and that's it y'all Good luck, everybody. GreenlightDFS.com. Week 5 is here, baby. I will be back to make a Thursday night showdown video on Thursday, 
morning it'll be posted or Wednesday. Not sure 100%, but we'll see. Greenlightdfs.com. Let's smash once again, baby. Let's keep this streak going. Let's just not lose again. Fuck it. Thank you guys for joining me, and I'm out. Peace.